what's up it's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel today's video I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me with a Q&A because I feel like I haven't like sat down and talked to you guys in a second also my hands right now it's really mainly here I already know okay anyways I asked you guys for some questions on Instagram I'm gonna be answering them and doing my makeup I have my iced coffee with my glass straw also like I said this will be the death of me these glass straws are bomb. Guys, my makeup bag is overflowing because I just keep putting random products in. It didn't even bring a mirror, so uh, great. I'm also so Gen Z with my little phone charm. But like that was a millennial thing to do, right? Like the joking like back in the day YouTube. I don't know, guys. I got a question asking how I always look so put together. Thank you. I don't feel like I do, but I'm kind of like against face primer at this point, but I'm still gonna use it. This is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. Back to the question, I feel like if you just accessorize any outfit, it looks like you tried harder. So I just have like my everyday jewelry staples, which I can do an Instagram reel of where I got them all. Um, and just by accessorizing, I feel like that makes you look a lot more put together. As I'm filming this tomorrow, my closet room is gonna be installed and then I'll have a lot better organization for my jewelry, so I wanna like switch it up more. But I do think accessorizing makes it all look more put together, you know? Next question. Fave Marg recipe. Okay, so my favorite margarita in Dallas. Going back in with my rare beauty primer. You know what, I do have a mirror right here. Wow, so cute, you know? My favorite margarita is from The Rustic. This is the mirror that I'm working with, everyone. A frozen margarita with a Grand Marnier float. And then if I'm like out and about and there's no like frozen machine, I will just do like a skinny mark with salt or something like that. I am gonna put concealer on. I like sometimes just don't. This is a way heavier makeup look than what I normally wear in the summer. I might do a little reel or an IGTV of like my everyday no makeup makeup look because that's normally what I wear, but I'm filming today and I wanna get ready. I'm using the Hourglass concealer. That's a lot of concealer. Why did I do this to myself? I'm trying to do this without a mirror. This is basically the no mirror makeup challenge everyone do you plan to live anywhere else besides dallas i try not to plan too far ahead just because my mind changes all the time like even to what i wanted in life three months ago to now is totally different um so i try to just like keep an open mind at all times knowing that i'm probably gonna change my mind but i love dallas there's nothing like living near family like i will say at the end of the day there's just nothing like it. And like that is what I prioritize and like what I care the most about. I also though at the same time feel like I already did it. Like I went to LA for like almost five years and I'm glad that I did that. Now when I'm around friends from my hometown who went to college with a lot of our other friends and now they really want to get out and try something new, like I totally understand that. That makes complete sense to me. I just feel like I got that experience already. So I love being here. I also am like just so happy in Dallas. I was like joking to a friend the other day saying, I'm gonna have to use the mirror for a sec, don't mind me. I'm Lightly baking, but it doesn't look so light on camera. Um, my under eyes have just been creasing really bad, but honestly, it feels weird because I do a lot of cream products. It's just like bad. I don't know, guys. Oh, I just got that all over after I just vacuumed. You know what? I think I'm gonna go in a little bit more because at this point, I'm already here. You know what I mean? I'm no makeup pro, so uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. I was joking with a friend the other day though, and I was like, I only want to travel like Monday through Friday. Like, I don't want to miss weekends here, and it's not that I'm a person who, like lives through the weekends, but I cherish my weekends in Dallas like they are so much fun also I feel like it's really like I just moved back because obviously we were in a pandemic when I moved back so now I'm making out with a bunch of friends and it's just like such a fun social life doing things that I love doing so with that being said I have no intention of moving um but who knows but I, don't, I really don't even want to put that out there because like I don't want to move you know next we're gonna go in with this cream blush it's tower 28 I Love these blushes. They are so good. Like, literally so bomb. One question was, do you want a family one day? I think that is, like, what I'm most excited for in life. And, like, I didn't always think I would be that person. I go with my Sephora 64 blush. I mean, brush. For the blush. And then I just apply. This is really a no mirror makeup challenge. Even though the mirror is right here. But, you know what I mean? I actually never, ever put the blush on before I put the bronzer on. So, interesting. Anyways, that is, like, what I'm absolutely most excited for. Like, I am so excited to have a family. You have no idea. Going in with my Milk Makeup Bronzer. My favorite bronzer stick. I really, really want the Charlotte Tilbury. I can't take myself seriously right now, guys. I really want the Charlotte Tilbury sticks. So, oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of questions like dating life. I cannot take myself seriously. We're gonna dust this off really quickly before I do anything else. I have the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. We're just gonna 
we're just gonna, you know. I'm just like putting on way more makeup than I normally would because I'm filming and it's just like, that's how it goes. And like being content, being single, blah, blah, blah. I am so happy that <laughs> like I, I go to bed every night and I wake up every morning without a care in the world, guys. Like, not that I've been in a ton of relationships that like stress me out that much, but I'm just saying there is something about just being like so free and young and single and hanging out with your friends all the time and like not having a relationship. Like not that I don't like being in relationships, but I just think for like where I'm at in life right this second, it is definitely the best choice for me to be single. Going with an hourglass bronzer. But yeah, I'm not like lonely. Like I get, like I don't know, I'm just really happy. I think I'm definitely the least interested in being in a relationship than I ever have been my entire life. And like not in a super like negative way, but just that I'm having so much fun and I don't even know where I would fit that in. Like, I don't even know if I'm in the place where like if it happens, I would even be down for it. It honestly made me rethink the whole thing of like, Oh, if they say they're like not ready, like it's just not the right person or whatever. Cause I'm like, I think I could literally meet the love of my life and I still don't know if I would date them right now. Like that is how much I'm like, no, I'm single, you know? Speaking of like those random cliches and stuff, my friends and I were talking about this the other day and it's like the whole thing of like, if he wanted to, he would, which I actually like strongly disagree with because I don't know about you guys, but I want to do things all the time and I don't. So like, no. I think what matters there is that he isn't in that situation. So like that would be that. I don't know, I mean, we can debate down below, but like at the end of the day, I wanna do things all the time that I don't do. It's just the fact in that scenario, I think that like he isn't doing it. You know what I mean? On that topic, we're young. If you wanna do something, go do it. You know what I mean? I don't know where my highlighter went, guys. Oh, I'm finding it. This bag is so crammed. Thoughts on getting back together with an ex, another concept that like we've been talking about lately just because i feel like i have changed so much in the past year alone and i think that's really good like sometimes i'm hard on myself for changing because i'm like why did i need to change so much or maybe i don't connect with like who i used to be so i almost like don't like that person even though i liked her at the time i don't know if that and there's nothing wrong with like my past self either i don't know if that makes sense however We've just been talking about how like life is just very gray. Like there's no black and white answers, I believe. Very few black and white answers. Okay, here's a highlighter. Becca, champagne light, okay. I think everything is really circumstantial. So it's hard to be like, yes or no. That's like a bad idea or a good idea. I think sometimes like breaking up actually makes the relationship stronger. I will say, I would maybe not get back together with an ex if we hadn't had like actual time apart independently where we both realized that that was what we wanted maybe or we both grew in different areas or why the relationship didn't work out has been changed since does that make sense i wouldn't just break off and immediately get back together like a week later i've been liking like a pop of pink like a brighter pink than this with my blonde hair recently doesn't seem like that's my story today you know favorite podcast for your soul okay randomly i have been loving oliver and kate hudson's podcast sibling revelry and I like that one because it's not super like, oh, this is how you can get better. This is what you should be doing in your life or whatever. Even though I love those podcasts, don't get me wrong. That's like what I prefer to listen to. For the most part, I do like podcasts like that that are a lot more chill and relaxed and feel like you're hanging out with friends. And it's like a good break from those. Best advice for being happy in your 20s. Also, by the way, I've been getting so many nice messages from you guys saying like, you followed me for years and you've just never seen me happier and blah, blah, blah. And those messages mean the world. I will say, I'm definitely probably the happiest I've ever been, but also like there's been road bumps. I think 2021 for the most part has been a really good year for me, especially as far as just like self growth in changing and pivoting and all of those things. But I think like really what I'm trying to learn is just living in the present. And that's something that's been very difficult for me in the past. It's like a high achiever and I like want to do a bunch of things and whatever. And I'm always like, go, 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 I wanna to get to the next thing and I feel like I've missed out on so much of life because of that. Pillow talk lashes, guys. So I'm really working on that and that has, I think, made the biggest difference. I realized it the other day, how much better I've gotten at it because a friend was asking about a situation and I had friends over the other night and they were like, how do you feel about that? And I was like, I mean, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, like there's just something better. And I think that's something that's like really easy to say, but it's really hard to mean, especially when you're someone like me who like always thinks she knows what she wants. And it wasn't that I was like being lazy in the regard or whatever, but I truly was like, I just trust that things are gonna work out and like not thinking too far ahead and like stressing myself out about it, which has been a main, um, point of like tension I think in my life in you know the recent 
23 years on this earth, so I hate putting on mascara. Here we go. This beautiful setting spray that I love. How many sprays of setting spray do you guys do? If you made it this far in the video, let me know. I want to keep talking, so yes, I did technically finish my makeup. It's not my favorite look I've ever done. Like, it's easy, simple. I was having a really bad makeup week last week, which is like, didn't even know it was a thing. Um, and then Saturday, I killed it, and that's when I just didn't care to kill it. You know what I mean? Coffee and questions, everyone. Okay, how do I can be content with just being single? Sorry, I was looking for some big sis advice. Okay, I just personally don't want a relationship right now. And I think like a few things have changed with that, but one, I'm just in a state where like so much of my life is like uncertain. Not that I'm not stable. Like I think I'm definitely stable enough to be in a relationship obviously, but like, I don't know. I just want to like be by myself and spend so much time with my friends. And I know that this is going to be like a very short lived period of my life. So I'm just having a lot of fun. And like, I like I am literally with my friends 24 7 and it is so much fun and I can't imagine that changing So I think just like filling your time with things that you like to do and even like just spending time on your own Like I love being by myself and by myself like all the time as well and like getting hobbies and things like that Yeah, I just don't feel like that is something that I really need right now And I think there's been times in the past where I would have like wanted a relationship But I just am not there right now how to meet friends in Dallas. Okay, I'm very lucky in the sense that 95% of who I've hung out with is either someone that I grew up with and I've known since I was like between 10 to 15 or a friend of theirs. I have made a few other friends that are not from my hometown, which might be like everyone's nightmare, but I actually like love where I grew up and I love my friends and like I was really, really lucky in that regard and there's a lot of like really healthy friendships still to this day and like great groups and like fun people and I love them. Like my favorite people, honestly. But I have made other friends and honestly most of the time it's just their Instagram. I think if you are in like post-grad or in your or any time that you're trying to make friends, want to have a podcast episode up on this with a friendship coach. So that will really help you. But just reach out. Like people just want people to reach out. You're probably not reaching out because you think it will be weird, but they want you to reach out. You know what I mean? Any travel plans for the summer besides LA? Okay, so like I was saying, I really just want to be in Texas as much as possible, but I am going to LA to record, and then I'm going back to LA like a week after that for a wedding. I think like my girlfriend's here, we want to do a Nashville trip, and like I'll do a few other things. I'm sure I'll have to go to Austin. I don't know my set travel plans. You would think because it's like post-COVID, I would be like, I want to jet set everywhere, but I'm just so happy here that I really don't want to leave, and I just want to be with my friends. So maybe I'll regret that, but that's just how I feel. Okay, what do you think about the difference in mentality between California and Texas? I can speak for myself on this. If you guys have been watching me since I lived in LA, I love LA, I love California, so much fun, really great time. Definitely a different part, different time of my life. Like I was a full-time student, I was working full-time, I had a podcast, like there was just so much going on, let alone traffic to get places, literally took up like three hours of my day. I was just really, really, really busy and I had no time to slow down and really think about what was important to me. So I think those times are really important to like get to where I am now. But now that I'm in Texas and I've been able to slow down a little bit, it's obviously with the pandemic, I've realized the things that like I really care about and like what success means to me. Not like a final answer, but success to me has a lot more to do with like relationships and the people in my life on top of you know, like what I want to do career wise and stuff. But I think at the end of the day, like if I just had like my friends and my family, I would actually be okay with that. I would prefer to have those people in my life than to like make a million dollars or something like that. However, I'm like a very driven person. I don't think that I could ever like not be doing something, you know, but I just realized how much like people in my life matter to me and also just Texas in general. I love it here. Do you ever feel comfortable showing things online and being so public? Okay. Mm. If I post it myself, no, because I'm making that choice, but I'm definitely more private about a lot of other areas in my life than I think people realize. Like I'm a very open person when it comes to just me, but if someone else is involved, I'm a lot more private. So uh, not necessarily, but I do sometimes like cringe that certain things are on the internet that I overshared or whatever. Um, but I feel like I don't overshare as much as I once did like maybe when I was like 16 17 Actually, even then I don't feel like I overshared enough I Probably if I overshared at 16 and 17, I would have like 3 million subscribers So also at those ages, I was thinking about that today when we were on YouTube and everyone was like partying and drinking Whatever all of that was like so behind the scenes and we weren't allowed like it was so frowned upon and then like Tana Mojo like made it normal 
which I like appreciate just as far as like authenticity but it used to be like such a secret and it's like stupid you know top three books we have to read in our 20s um i would suggest the ruthless elimination of hurry then i would suggest defining decade that was a really helpful book as far as my 20s go and then honestly anything by dr amen i really care a lot about brain health and i think it's like a really interesting thing that's gonna be even bigger than it is now as far as like mainstream, obviously, no, you know what I mean. It's gonna be more popular to talk about. I've recently ended up with a lot more free time. What should I be doing instead of scrolling? Make a list of things you like to do. And if you can't think of anything to do, go off that list. So like reading, going on a walk, going, making matcha, going and get, getting matcha, FaceTiming a friend, cleaning your room, things like that. And then just do something off the list. How do I get over someone? I feel like I'm just good at this at this point, but I have a great piece of advice that I had never done before, but it's really good. When I was like 18 or 19, I was dating this guy. It wasn't the best relationship, it wasn't the worst, but it was just like definitely not for me. And I probably broke up with him like six times and it was just one of those things where like they would come back and then I would, it was easier to be with him than it was to be without him, whatever. Um, I finally wrote myself a letter and was like, Kenzie, you do not need to be in this relationship. Neither of you really like each other, blah, 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 whatever. And I wrote myself a letter so that way anytime he would like come begging for me back i would just read the letter and that really helped me the thing now that i would recommend is writing out a list of all you know what maybe brooke told me to do this i can't remember brooke this might be your tip brooke might, i'm gonna give her credit i think that it is but if it isn't i'm sorry because i'm putting your name on this it's nothing bad okay but make a list of qualities or things about them or the relationship that you didn't like or you don't want because it's really easy when you're sad and you miss someone to be like oh my gosh but it was perfect whatever but like naturally with anything there's going to be flaws and there's going to be like the negatives so make a list of all of the bad things so you don't over romanticize it in your head and make it into something that it wasn't you know what i mean all right guys that is it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed i love you guys i am so excited for youtube this summer let me know what you guys want to see but hope you guys have the best day ever love you guys so much and i'll talk to you soon bye first thing we do we we interpret labs using a thinner reference range so anybody that's listening right now will know hey when i get my, my lab, I'm being compared to this reference range in my lab. Well, we get that reference range from a statistical bell curve average of people who go to lab.